Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. do solemnly swear. In 2020, Biden won 92 percent of the black vote. Now some polls indicate that support has fallen sharply. And up to a quarter of African-Americans in key states may vote for Donald Trump. A startling shift. It is significant that the black vote is fracturing in a way that we haven't seen in recent elections. And it is going to force candidates, especially Democratic candidates, to think about who they're speaking to, which votes they need to cultivate, and how they might need to shift their strategies. Many people, African Americans and others, do not like what they see. They don't see much in a way that has been beneficial to their to helping themselves. Plus, there's some indication, there's some indication that, that Trump's aggressive approach to issues tends to resonate with some blocks of voters. I am having a tour of Chicago with one such voter who is now a passionate advocate for Donald Trump. A lot of black people tend to just vote Democrat instead of looking at policies and that is what led to a lot of these gripes that they're having now. 24-year-old Zakir is a first-time voter here. She lives near to one of the many migrant camps that are spread out across the city. Trump would say this is like a third world country. And honestly, I believe it does. Now a pro-Trump social media influencer, she is utterly disillusioned with President Biden. You feel like these scenes that we're witnessing here in Chicago, you know, would at least be addressed if Donald Trump was president? Absolutely, absolutely. Donald Trump said years ago that he was gonna build a wall around this country to secure the border, and that seems like Thing that's being ignored by a lot of our politicians. He has the answers, and I'm sure people would be much happier um, at the city hall meetings if Trump was in office. I think this country is doomed. You're saying doomed? I think that we have a senile president who isn't concerned about the needs of the citizens and is doing everything he can to destroy the country, honestly. Zakia has given up not just on Biden, but on Chicago. Soon she is moving to Texas, a Republican state that she says aligns more closely with her very conservative worldview. You've had it with Democrats. Absolutely, yeah, I'm, I'm finished. Law. I just got of age to vote, honestly, within the last five years, and I've already realized that the way that this city is headed is not gonna be beneficial for anybody. Chicago proudly calls itself a sanctuary city. But that goodwill has now reached breaking point here. And the political implications for the White House are immense. The city of Chicago agrees that the migrant crisis is putting severe pressure on limited resources. Officials pleading for further support from the White House. And Joe Biden also acknowledges the urgency of the situation and says he is determined to address the problem.